Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at this problem. 2021 AMC 10B number 7. So we've got this line here in the middle. And then we've basically got four circles of radiuses 1, 3, 5, and 7 that are tangent to this point A. So like maybe we have a circle 1, 2, oops, that's not a good circle. So we've got these four circles, so I'm just going to draw them all out and then I can move them around. And then you've got even bigger ones. These are our, our circles. So now we, we have to somehow position these circles. We can drag them around such that there's all tangents to this point here. So maybe something like this could be something that could possibly work. And maybe make sure not confused. This is what it's saying. They're all tangent on either side. So this may be a possible diagram. It's not the maximum configuration, but it's a possible diagram. So it's just a random diagram I drew. So basically, you want to find the area of the region covered by all of the points that lie in exactly one of the circles. So Basically, this, this area here is not good because it lies in the small circle and the bigger circle there. So it has to lie in exactly one circle. So in this configuration, the region that we would have is, is something like here on the outside. Like here. Something like that. This is the region that we would be carving out. And the same thing on the other side, something similar. I'm not going to draw the whole thing out, but something like this. So basically, in this configuration, that, that's what the area is looking for, the one that's going to be inside only one of the circles. It's not going to be inside more than one circle. So now the question is, really, we obviously want to have these two big circles of radius 5 and 7 on the outside. They have to be like the ones that the area is in, right? Because we, we cannot have like three. If you just have like three and then all of them rest on one side, then that's not going to be good. Because now the big you have to somehow utilize those big circles to add area to get the maximum. We cannot, if you're using those big circles to subtract area, that, then that's not the maximum. So you use, utilize it to add area. So it means you have to put it one five circle on one side and one seven circle on one side, right? That's what we have to do. So we don't know anything about the one and three circles yet, but the five and seven circle, I think it's pretty clear by the size of what the radiuses are, have to be on both of the sides like this, right? So, because if you put like a three instead of a five, then now we're have to subtract the five instead of add the five, which is causing a reduce in the area. So now these are like our main circles on the outside. So now we have to find the maximum region of S that are in exactly one circle. So then if it's in exactly one so of the four circles, we need to find out what circles that we should not be having. So basically the idea here is that we will have to sub subtract some areas, no matter what, some areas that are inside multiple circles. So now we have to minimize the region that's covered by multiple circles. How can we do that? Minimizing the region covered by multiple circles. Well, the obvious thing to do is that we want to kind of make them cover as small a space as possible. So let's say we put the three circle here, inside here. Then we're going to have to not count this region here, to not count this region here. So now, one thing is that you can say, okay, let's put it on the other side, and then we're going to not count this region as well. But that's counting extra. That's counting extra. We're subtracting extra. That's not the minimum anymore. So instead, what we want to do is we want to take this circle and put it inside here. Because we're anyway subtracting this region inside this th radius 3 circle. So we might as well put a 1 there too, so we don't have to subtract even more. Therefore, we can see the area, this region, plus this region, is just going to be equal to 5 squared pi to 25 pi. And this is just going to be 7 squared minus 3 squared pi, which is 40 pi. So the area is 65 pi, and that is a solution for this problem. Key idea, don't get tricked. Remember, we want to put the large circles on the outside and the smaller ones inside. And we want to make sure that we are minimizing the area we're removing. So we put the one inside the three. Be careful and make sure not to make a silly mistake on that. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more new competition math videos. As if you're watching here, watching this video, you're probably interested in competition math. Well, then you'll probably also find many of the other videos on this channel to be of use as well. See you all next time.